the shorelines of the ocean comprise 10% of the land mass of the planet, and yet 40% of the world's population live along our shorelines. What I find fascinating about that is I'm about to do something that relatively few people have ever done. I'm going to immerse myself in a world of color and texture and complexity that goes beyond description. Out there, and in the waters far beyond this Bocas del Toro archipelago in Panama, is one fourth of the organisms that's known to man. Majestic whales, dancing fish, huge shellfish, and tiny miniature shrimp. A kaleidoscope of color where even the rocks are alive. A complex ecosystem that produces over half of the oxygen in our atmosphere. That's not to be taken lightly. Yet, for all that complexity and color, what I will see here today does not hold a candle to what I saw here 20 years ago. In recent times, the oceans in every corner of the world have undergone dramatic change. The balance of that ecosystem has been upset. What took hundreds of thousands of years to establish has been lost in the lifetime of a single dolphin. And these changes have not necessarily been confined to just the oceans. I grew up in the Great Plains of Western United States, isolated from the oceans, but no stranger to change. The people who are living there now, in that community, who are under 40 years of age, cannot imagine that there was a tree-lined network of streams and ponds full of beavers and fish and that in the spring and fall, countless migration waterfowl would follow back and forth the migration routes. No more. We hear stories like this more and more worldwide. The changes have become so noticeable that they've taken on labels through the years. Progress global warming, climate change. It has been politicized, monetized, and endlessly debated. But whether you believe in special cause, or the acceleration of nature, or cattle gas, for heaven's sake, it all eventually points to one thing, human impact. And you know whose fault that is? <laughs> it's mine. No, 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 really. Just ask my wife. Whose fault is it that there are dirty handprints on the dish towel? Whose fault is it that the refrigerator door was left open? Whose fault is it that there are still dirty dishes in the sink? Global warming? Right up. And you know what? As always, she's right. If we want to know who all this is, we need to look. All of us need look no further than the mirror. Each one of us has, in some ways, large or small, either contributed or created to the process that brought us to this state. Now, I knew that I myself had not done anything earth-shaking to create this mess. But I also had to admit things that made me a contributor. I wanted to make amends. I wanted to do something that made me feel good was meaningful and had lasting impact. A save the earth, save the world kind of a project that I could attach to. I, and I just wasn't getting there. 
And so, of course, what that meant was I was doing nothing. And then one day, cleaning up some dirty dishes and had closed the refrigerator door, turned off some unnecessary lights, my light came on. You don't have to be large to be involved. needs to do whatever we can in whatever way we can. The list of little things that make a big impact is important. Support local farm producers. Walk, don't run. Quit, stop supporting unnecessary Do you really need that new phone, TV, pen, pencil that doubles as a flashlight and tells you when to feed the cat? Probably not. Support recycle. Whenever you can, avoid buying things in single-use containers. And slow down. Pick up that bottle. And don't get the idea that you're not doing that. After all, we can put down one brick at a time, we can rebuild it one brick at a time. And if you say we don't have time for that, that puts you right back in the zero column. And you certainly don't have time for that. Find a way to what's going to happen is sooner or later, as you're walking out there, working out there as a volunteer at the local recycle shop, or you're repairing bicycles at, a, at the, the rental bike shop, you're going to come across something that will inspire you to a different level. Create a community garden. Plant lettuce on your own window seal. Write a book. Write a children's book about cute and cuddly, warm and fuzzy, that lives in the forest, or flies in the sky, or swims in the sea, or does all of those things and becomes a climate change superhero that we can all identify with. Touch the imagination of the young and you'll get out of this mess sooner than you might imagine. It's happening here in Boca del Toro already. Some inspired people sponsored trash cans and put them throughout the city. Now you see the grade school kids unwrap their candy bars and take the wrapper and put it in the container. I've even seen them walking down the street pick up something and take it over to the container. That was unheard of a few years ago. The inspiration of a few has become the music of a choir. You can hear it in the waves. You can feel it in the fresh breath of hope in the afternoon breeze. You can taste it in the homegrown fruit, uplifting, unified change. I found my and my passion in helping restore the fisheries here, giving hope to coral. And if you listen carefully, you can hear it. Caribbean Coral Restoration has over 5,000 baby corals in four different nurseries out there. And they're all crying for my attention. There have been hundreds of fish castles built. filling up with eager clients waiting to greet me. And it's all done with volunteers and donations. If you think little things don't make a big difference, consider this. If everyone who watches this video 
could contribute as much as two dollars. We could keep fish dancing and coral smiling in these waters for many years to come. Take a moment to put yourself in that picture. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you have the ability to share this worldwide movement to create a sustainable and positive future. You just have to show up, step up, and follow the power of inspiration. Follow us. Follow me. Follow us. Come on. And show you things you've never seen before. Come on. Let's do this thing.